As the Ceylon tea industry prepares to celebrate 150 years, it is also under threat. Over the, part of the next five days, we explore these threats through a special report. In this first report, we will look at the history of Ceylon tea and where the industry is right now. With tea plantations covering the equivalent of 220,000 sports pitches, it's hard to imagine Sri Lanka's landscape without them. Visit the main tea growing regions and tea plantations dominate the landscape. But without this man, some parts of Sri Lanka might look very different. In 1867, Scotsman James Taylor discovered that Sri Lanka had the perfect conditions for producing high quality tea. His discovery saved the economy from the collapse of the coffee industry after it was devastated by disease and shaped the country for years to come. The success of tea fueled development of the island's transport infrastructure. Many tea estates were owned by British planters until they were nationalized in 1971 following Sri Lanka's independence. After many tea estates made losses, the government allowed some estates to be part privatized in 1991. These estates became what are known as regional plantation companies. The estate workforce was, and still is, made up nearly entirely of people who left South India in the late 19th century to escape famine. Encouraged by government subsidies, a growing number of smallholders are now responsible for 73% of Ceylon tea production. At one time, Sri Lanka was the leading exporter of tea. However, in the last 20 years, it has been overtaken by India and Kenya. With Sri Lankan export values falling by nearly 30% between 2014 and 2016. Ceylon tea remains highly prized for its unique taste and quality, but it is no longer competitive. Sri Lanka tea pluckers are paid more than their counterparts in other countries, but pluck far fewer leaves. And yet, many still live in abject poverty. Over decades, the majority of tea sales have come from the Middle East and Russia, but war and falling oil prices have decimated demand. Despite a slump in global tea prices, Salon Tea is now selling for record amounts at auction. But how long will buyers be prepared to pay these prices? What lies behind the low productivity? Climate change? Political interference? Labour relations? Or social welfare? These are just some issues facing an industry that employs more than one million Sri Lankans. People whose lives are inextricably linked to the survival of the Ceylon tea industry. In this series of films, we will explore the threats facing Sri Lanka's greatest global brand, Ceylon tea.